Welcome to your Oxford University Press classroom presentation tool. Before we get started, make sure you have a screen. This could be a monitor or touchscreen or interactive whiteboard. A cable to connect your computer to the screen, usually a HDMI or VGA cable. Your classroom presentation tool access code and an internet connection to download the software. How to download and install Oxford Learner's Bookshelf You can access Oxford Learner's Bookshelf via your web browser or you can download the app to your tablet or computer. To download the desktop app, go to www.oxfordlearnersbookshelf.com and click Download the app. Then click Get the desktop app. On the next page, click Download now. Open the file and begin the installation. Oxford Learner's Bookshelf and the Classroom Presentation Tool also work offline and are available for iPad and tablets. How to register and sign in. Sign in to Oxford Learner's Bookshelf using your Oxford ID username and password. Oxford ID is the name of the account that you use to access your Oxford University Press materials, such as the Oxford Teachers Club, Oxford Learn, Oxford Learner's Dictionaries, and Oxford Online Practice. If you don't have an Oxford ID, select Register to create one. Enter your details. Your username must be a valid email address. Read the Terms and Conditions and Privacy Policy and tick the box to agree. Click Create My Account. Sign in with your username and password. How to use your access code. To enter an access code, click the Add Books button under My Books. Enter your 12-digit access code and click the Add button. Your books will be added to the bookshelf. Move your mouse over the cover of a book and click the Open Book icon to start using it. How to move the toolbar and change the page view. You will see the toolbar when you open a book. The toolbar is usually at the top of the screen, but you can move it to a different place on the screen if you want to. Select More on the right of the toolbar, then click the Move Toolbar button. You can choose whether you want the toolbar to be set to the top, bottom, or either side of the screen. To change the way you view the coursebook pages, click the More button then select Page View. To see one page of the book at a time, click the One Page View button. This is also the default view. To see two pages of the book side by side, select More, then click Page View, then select the Two Page View button. Click the Scroll View button in Page View to scroll down through the pages of the book. You can choose to see all the pages of the book at once. Click the More button, then click Tile View followed by the All button. How to use the Go To page and search tools. To go straight to a chapter or unit of the book, click the Go To page button in the toolbar. Scroll to the chapter or unit you want and click the page image. Click the Go To page button again to close it. To search the book, click the Search and Dictionary button and type a word or phrase into the box. You can search Book. The search will look anywhere in the book. Note. The search will look in text notes you have added to the book. Click a search result to go to that page of the book. Dictionary. The search will look in the Oxford Essential Dictionary, Oxford Word Power Dictionary, or Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary for you. You'll need to be connected to the internet to search the dictionary. Click anywhere on the page to close the search. How to use the Draw and Highlight tools To use the pen, click the Draw and Highlight button and select the pen icon. Then click on the colour you would like to use from the options. You can also choose the size of the pen marks by clicking the plus or minus icons on the left. The dot in the middle of these options shows the current pen size. When you have chosen your pen, click and drag your mouse to make pen marks. When you have finished adding your pen marks, click the Draw and Highlight button on the toolbar to close the pen options. To delete pen marks, click the eraser in the Draw and Highlight options. 
Then click and drag your mouse on the area you want to delete marks from. To delete all of the pen marks for the pages you are on, click Remove All in the Draw and Highlight options, and then click OK on the message that appears. The highlighter tools work in the same way as the pen tools. How to add notes and bookmarks You can add two types of notes, audio notes and text notes. To add an audio note in one page view, click the Notes icon then click the audio icon. If the website asks for permission to access your microphone, click OK or Allow. Click the record icon on the audio bar. Record your voice. Click the record icon again to stop recording. Click the play icon to listen to your note. If you would like to, you can re-record your note by clicking the record icon again. Press Save when you finish your recording to save your audio notes. You can also add an audio note in two-page view. To do this, right-click with your mouse on the page and then click the audio icon. To delete an audio note, click the audio note icon in your book. On the audio bar, click the delete icon. Click OK on the message that appears. The note will be deleted everywhere. To add a text note in one page view, click the Notes icon, then click the Text icon. Type your note into the box. You can include a website link if you want to by starting the link with www. Click a colour for your note. You can enlarge your text note so you and your students can read it more clearly. Click Done to save your note. You can also add a text note in two page view. To do this, Right-click with your mouse on the page and then click the text icon. To delete a text note, click the text note icon in your book, click the delete icon, click OK on the message that appears. The note will be deleted everywhere. To bookmark a page, click the Add Bookmark button in the toolbar. Go to the page you want to bookmark, click the bookmark icon in the top right corner of the page so that it becomes solid yellow. Click the Add Bookmark button again in the toolbar to close it. To remove a bookmark, click the solid yellow bookmark on the page so that it is see-through again. To see all the pages of the book you've added bookmarks to, click the More button, followed by Tile View, then select the Bookmark button. To see all the pages of the book you've added audio or text notes to, select the More button, then Tile View, then click on Notes. How to check and mark answers There are three marking options available in the toolbar. Check answers, show answers, clear answers. Check and clear answers can only be used when an activity has been attempted. To mark your completed exercises, click the check answers button in the toolbar. Your answers will be marked with a tick or cross to confirm if they are correct or incorrect. You do not need to complete all of the exercises on a page to check answers. To reveal the correct answers, click the Show Answers icon in the toolbar. You'll see either a Reveal Answer icon or an Answer pop-up icon next to each question. Click the Reveal Answer icon next to each question to reveal the answers on the page one by one or all at once. Or click the Answer pop-up icon to show all the answers for an activity at once at the top of the screen. You can change the answer for an exercise at any point by clicking the answer box and choosing a new answer. If you want to delete all of the answers on a page, click the Clear Answers button in the toolbar, then click OK on the message. All of the answers on the page will be deleted. You can also delete all answers, pen, highlight and notes from the page at once. To do this, click the Clear Page button in the toolbar, then click Delete in the message. All of the answers, pen, highlight and notes on the page will be deleted. How to focus and zoom in and out With Focus, you can open an exercise in full screen to answer the questions more easily. 
When you click the Focus icon in the toolbar, exercises which can be expanded will be shown with a dotted blue border around them. Click an exercise to expand it. When an exercise is expanded, you will have access to the marking options and the pen and highlighter tools at the top of the window. To close an expanded exercise, click the cross in the right corner of the exercise window. Answers you added when the exercise was expanded will be shown on the page. Zoom in. To increase the size of the page on screen, click the zoom in icon. To zoom out, to decrease the size of the page on screen, click the zoom out icon. Double click or tap on the screen to zoom all the way in or zoom all the way out. How to switch between classroom presentation tools. Some courses have two classroom presentation tools, one for the student's book or class book and one for the workbook or activity book. Some of these allow you to switch quickly between books to related pages or exercises. Please note that the switch books function is not available for all courses. There are two ways to switch between books. Using the toolbar, the Switch Books icon will become active when there are related pages in the second book that you can switch to. Click the Switch Books button to switch between the books. Click it again to go back to your first book. You can also switch books using page links. There are interactive links on relevant pages of the books. Click the link to switch to the relevant page of your second book. Then either use the Switch Books button in the toolbar or the interactive link to go back. How to play and record audio. Some books include listening exercises. These will have an audio icon. To listen, click the audio icon. The audio player will open and automatically play the audio. To pause the audio, press pause. To repeat a section of the audio, click the AB icon on the audio player at the start of the section. Then click the button again at the end of the section. The chosen section will play on repeat. To control the speed of the audio, click the slow, normal or fast options on the audio player. Some classroom presentation tools have scripts within the audio so that the class can follow the dialogue. Sporty. Six. Friendly. Seven. Clever. Students can also practice their pronunciation in the audio bar. You can record students speaking and then listen back to the recordings. To record pronunciation practice, click the record icon on the right of the audio bar. If the website asks for permission to access your microphone, click OK or Allow. Record a student or class. Click the record icon again to stop recording. Click the play icon to listen to the recording. You can re-record the practice if you want to by clicking the record icon again. To close the audio player, click the cross in the top right corner of the player. How to play video. If your book includes video, you will see a video icon or play button. To play the video, click the button. You can also adjust the volume, view the video in full screen, or drag to resize the video and pause the video from the player. Some classroom presentation tools have scripts within the video so that the class can follow the dialogue. You can move the scripts around the video so you and your students can see them clearly. Need more help? Click the Help and Support icon at www.oxfordlearnersbookshelf.com or in the app. Or you can send us an email at eltsupport at oup.com.